Well, hello there, Proco here again, playing some more Stone Block 2. Some modded Minecraft, as you will see. Plenty's been happening, been fairly busy off camera here, so I'm going to just jump into it and we'll talk through some of the things I've done and what, how some things work, because obviously looking at it, there's pipes and boxes and things everywhere. We've got smelteries and we've got the. What's it called? So, the auto sieve and stuff. I've modified that, I've changed it up a wee bit as well. I've now got some wheat growing. And there's a cow. There was a cow making, making things. Look at the little cow. Oh. But anyway, uh, what we're going to do is I'm going to start at the mob farm. Um, there's been a fair bit of changes here and it's now fully automatic, as you will see. There's cursed earth now, so um, what I need to do, what I'll do is put that there. So as you can see, we've got fans in, we've got the, we've got the diamond spikes there. Um, so the stuff's getting spawned in, obviously. Curse the earth will mean that they will spawn no matter how close I get, which is quite handy. And it spawn rate is insanely fast. Um, let's just get rid of them. Oops. Should probably block that up, but anyway. Um, curse the earth, I will explain that in a minute, that's why those signs are there. But yeah, we've the drops are now so mad that we have got its own mini storage system here from the, the item collectors just a bit of conduit and a drawer controller and spitting them out as you can see we're getting plenty of stuff getting the, the loot boxes in I haven't organised it typical me just everything's all over the place but getting plenty of stuff got plenty of glowstone and getting sugar we're getting loads of the inferium and tons of loot crates, this is after I've not long actually gone and <laughs> emptied some but yeah this is the thing, the drops of evil and I think there's a bit here, yep there's a bit that's not done so the drops of evil you get from weather skeletons um, if I hit that. so yeah they're random drop, it's a 10% chance of dropping it um, from weather skeletons, so obviously in a setup like this it's kind of easy to get them but the drops of evil, you just put some dirt down and then right click and boof um, so I think I put mine at the end of it and it got to here so it spreads a fair distance obviously once you've got it in and you've got the setup that I'm going to show you it's really easy and quick to get hold of more um, so what we need to do is if we run back through to my main room we need a bucket we need a bucket, where did I put my buckets? I oh, you know what, I've, even, I've already got it in there but we'll skip that just now, I might need that, I'm not sure um, I must have more buckets getting about somewhere yep, yeah, there we go I did make this little storage bag very handy, kind of look it's insanely cheap to make, actually, bag. It is that one. It's from Cyclic. Redstone, gold, string, and some leather. Boom. Storage bag. It's brilliant. Um, so, get bucket. Get bucket. And what the other thing we need is these, which I have got one of. Ancient spores. Ancient spores are what you're looking for. And uh, where did these come from? Seven. Seven. Sand. I mesh, diamond mesh. One or three percent chance of sand through your sieve. Um, which obviously, once you get set up like this, it's quite easy to do. I'll show you how I modified that so it's not just gravel in a minute. So, what you need to do, get yourself a bucket of water. I think it's, I'll try it in this one, but um, that was stupid. But I'm pretty sure it's, yeah, it's a stone barrel you need as well. So what you want to do, plonk your stone barrel down, fill it up with water, and then I'll whack it with your ancient spores, and you will get this, witch water. 
which if we look at it, doesn't, it does, it does, it does, where does it? I need to learn what the buttons do. Oh, it doesn't have a, it doesn't have, wonder if it's got more. It'll be uh, that one. Hmm? Maybe not. Try that. Nah. Oh well, it doesn't have any more information. But, which water? What this will do is anything that it comes in contact with, you can use it on items and it'll transform them into things. Or, as you can see, I have got, let's get rid of the spiders again. I need to fix, figure out how to fix in those. Because they're a pain. But where I've got it, I've got it set with sign there, sign there, same on this side. And then oh, those mobs will just beat it. What I did, just plonk it in that corner there. And then anything that spawns in there will get shot down into it. As you can see, the creepers just turned into co charge creepers. Any skeletons that spawn will get turned into weather skeletons. Only issue can be is sometimes they will float. They are still taking damage by the sounds of it. Um, I think they're just drowning in it basically. Yeah. So we'll let them go and then we'll take it back out. But yeah, you get weather skeletons, charge creepers, etc. from it. So yeah, guys. Uh, anyway. Um, sorry, computer went a bit dodgy there and I had to reset something. Um, so yeah, the witch water just basically turns anything, so it converts mobs over, um, which is perfect because it means you can get your weather skulls, you can get your drops evil, things like that, um, which is perfect for getting stuff done. Obviously we won't really want the cursed earth in there because it makes the mobs spawns mental, as you can see up there in the top right. You'll see them firing in and shooting down because of the fans, and it's basically all automated now. Yep, there we go. There's a couple getting fired down there, um, which is just perfect. And yeah, so I was going to explain this. So obviously, I have this running right now, and it's I think it's working on gravel. So what I've done is taken another bit of put a chest in and another item conduit here. And I've got this one coming out and into the chest. And then this one is coming back out the chest and into the auto hammer. So when I turn this one off and I turn that one off, what it does is it recirculates what's in this. So I can fill it up with, take the cobblestone out the generator, through the hammer, fill it up with gravel, and then turn this off. So then it recirculates the gravel back through it into dirt. Then the dirt gets recirculated into sand. And then I can either decide what I want to do. I can either process all the sand or I can recirculate again into dust and then sieve the dust through to depend on what drops I want to get from it. Which is that's brilliant. It means I can adjust what I need to get depending on what I'm needing, what I want. Because obviously there's things like gold and spores, there's glowstone, redstone, things like that. Quartz as well is another one that we we've now started getting through as well which is perfect it means we can start getting all the extra things we're needing back out into the system for using um, done a few quests which we'll look at the book in a minute obviously I upgraded to my my furnace here by a couple I think it is um, that back in there out of the way and I have, what else have I been working on? Oh, chickens. Chickens. I'll look at that in a minute. I got that from a, a loot box, which is brilliant. Chickens. Been doing a bit of work, so just growing some up. I'll, I haven't done the basic ones. I'll probably go through chickens at some point, because I do plan on using these quite a bit for some future things. But I made up a couple, got some from quests and things. And I've got them in these roosts, which are... Fairly simple affairs, where's one that's got stuff in it? Like that. It's just about to finish, so he'll plop it out in there. So that's a cactus green one, so he's producing cactus green dye, I think it is, here. There you go, plopped out. Um, also put in the roost collector, which just collects everything they're producing. So I've got a sand one, I've got a snowball one, which was quite cool. We got 
snowballs out of. Lime chicken, which I really I need that I want lime dice, so I've got normal chicken for some eggs to get producing and the log one was just purely because I needed it to make I think the snowball one, I think it's sand and wood or something like that. Yeah. Anyway. This thing, purple slimy uh, blue slime sapling, which I got from one of the loot boxes out of the mob farm, but it's perfect because it's great in slime balls, which are great. We need them. You can also see that I was that I was doing a bit because I wanted these lapis chickens for something, so I've been doing a bit of breeding in this thing, um, just for them. But yeah, we've got slime blocks, we've got and slime balls as well. Tons of saplings and the usual stuff that we get from that. Um, from that thing, so that's perfect. That's producing stuff that we do need. We need for that stuff. I think I've got slime boots now. Slimy boots, yep. So I can fall a bit further. The rest of it's just kind of the general stuff I've been getting from mob drops and stuff like that. Nothing much has changed apart from me adding more. I really want to work on a storage system here, which I might do at some point rather soon. Not sure whether I'll probably keep the drawers and rearrange some of it. I want to put more of the compacting drawers in for all my ingots. So I might use, I might actually put another section there, but I do want to get into the proper ME storage stuff as well. I've also got the tinkers put in because I've now got my lovely tinkers axe with some some modifiers on it with the diamonds and stuff. So I mean it's not the best right now, but it's getting there. Uh, I don't know what's it got. I think it's got a couple of things, luck and stuff. So it should have fortune and things. And we have also built the smeltery, so we've got it all set up. I think it's currently, yeah, yeah, don't fall in it once it's got stuff in it. Or you end up with some lovely blood in it. So I think that's all that's in it right now, yeah, I wonder if I can pour that out. No, I can't. Um, yep, so we've been casting some ingots out uh, here, you can get blocks, that's obviously where I started. I will be starting to get my tools, my tinker stuff going um, to get stuff like that done. I've also been working a wee bit with the cows. You'll probably see behind that wall there is a plethora of cows that I got. If you just get them as general loot crate rewards. I think it's, yep, there we go. Sear stone, I think there's a lava one, a water one and a milk one. Um, cows so what have we done yeah so I think I got all of those I think I only had to make the seared stone one and it, I made an asphidium one just because I want it I will need it for the drawers and things to make void upgrades and lava is always not lava obsidian is always handy to have so that's been grinding away while I've been doing things just to get going we have the wheat with the growth crystal, which was another loot crate. I mean, these loot crates are just insanely good. Um, which grows all this stuff, and I've just been manually harvesting that for seeds and wheat to grow the chickens and the cows up a bit. Um, just pop that back in because they get noisy sometimes. So, um, as you can see, I've made some more stuff. Stuff been basically ticking off some quests. We made the infusion crystal. Fairly simple once you've got going a bit to do. Same with all these storage upgrades. Um, I clicked on completely wrong thing there. Was that one I wanted? So again, needed the obsidian, and then you can just run through them and make all of them. Not going to show you that, it's a really simple recipe um, to do. So, what we'll do, we will go and claim some of these. So, as you can see, did the full roll because I had all the stuff now that we've been grinding for a while, which made it quite easy to do. Just click. 
claim all of these off. I don't see anything that's uh, super exciting right away. And the, the detector might be good. Um, some of the chicken ones as well. Redstone furnace could be handy. Another spawn changer. What we've done in here. Yep, I've worked up through a couple of these just to get them going as well. The garden cloche, that'll be handy. Let's go on. I did also make up a couple of these forges, another cobblestone generator, and a party pickaxe. Nothing, nothing super major. I have to say, I've been slightly unlucky. I think with what I've been getting. Did do the tier three one of them. I think it's sitting down, down here. Yep, it's in the wall supply in this, guys. Um, I can't remember if I've shown you this or not. Oops, I hope can stay there. So we've got more crucibles and I moved the barrel down in between them. So we've got the four generators on the go now. We've got our anvil. These powered anvils are brilliant. Stick it in. Way back up it should about it goes and out it pops. Do my sword as well when we're at it. It's fairly fast and it's basically free once you get any kind of power setup on the go, which is just awesome. I love this. There you can see one of the other forges kicking in just to get some more power onto this. There we go. It's brilliant. It just saves us saves us in any kind of materials. Um dehydrator, I put in because I was needing leather, but I've realised that there was either easier ways to do it. You can use um the laser beam thing. Um induction smelter we already had and the sagma I've put in I've just been starting to put the ores into it. That's um, just to crush them down because it basically doubles your ores so if you put them through that first. And then I've got the, the lovely pipe coming out from the sag mill straight in at the top of my forge and goes into there. Um, just basically doubles your input, output from your anything you put through it. Bouncy boots. Um, I don't think I've got anything because I've just done a clear out. And I haven't let this process again yet, because it's still grinding away way through. I mean, it's not the fastest thing in the world, and there it is. The stonework factory would be much better, because it would all do it in one unit, rather than all over the place. What was that noise? No noise. Must be outside. <laughs> Oops. Um, so, power outputs and another thing I've been looking at, and looking through it. This thing, you know what? Let's just stick some of that stuff in there, out the way. With one of these. So, these things generates redstone flux, requires currency, question mark. Allows the augment the lapidary calibration. Allows for various gemstones to be used as fuel greatly increases power generation and efficiency. So, now that obviously I've been producing lapis fairly quickly with the chickens on the go, so what I'm thinking, so I'll stick them there and we'll get these on the go. Uh, I'm going to need to probably, yep, wrong way around, I need to go and get Oh no, it's, I don't need to go and get it. It should be in my bag. Crescent hammer? I think it's this one anyway. That would be a torch, not my crescent hammer. So if I point that into there, and then slap it with... I need a reinforced kit. I need a reinforcing kit. Have I got any in there? Yes, I do. That'll do. What one's that? Just a normal one. That'll do the job just now. Stick a reinforcing kit on it. And then should be able to, yep, there we go. So, this thing, 400 RF per tick. These things, what are they at? I think it's 40 a tick. I don't even know how to check that. Pretty sure it's 40 for each of them. So I've got, what, 80, 160, 400, straight away. Boom. There we go. 
Now, that's these could very well solve our power output when we couple them up with the chickens. Granted, the lapis doesn't go very far, but at 400, these things were rare and not hard to craft. Um, let's see, let's see. Um, dynamos. Dynamo. So it is this one. It's not that hard to make. Constant. Constantin, Constantin ingots, transmission coils, easy to make. That's the wrong one. That's the other one. Constantin, where did I do it? I did it in. What's my thing called? Induction smelter. Was it the induction smelter? Nickel and copper, I think it is. Yeah, nickel and copper. So run nickel and copper through your your pulverizer thing, sag mill. You know what? Let's just make another one. So where's the copper? Copper. Nickel's in that one. Nickel. What else am I going to need? Need to make gear. Need iron ingots. Don't gear. And a silver. So, stone gears should have a couple of them left. What's in there? Constant ingots. I'll make more just so we can see the process. I think I need one of them. So, we will go actually up. And we'll just knock this pipe out for now. So, it doesn't spit it upstairs. Um, Stick in, maybe do three of them. Let that chug through. Oh. Oh. Well, we need to take that. Oh, chop down a bit. There we go. And just take that out of there and chop that off the top. There we go. Maybe I need to rework how I do that. There we go. Um, take that out and we will stick in, say, three more of them as well. Let that burn through that. Tidy up that. I oh, picked up a bit too much of that, didn't I? Um, that thing is, you got no, we do need, we'll need to create some kind of power. Because to be honest, I could rip out all of that and put in a few of them and get some power banks or batteries or something like that on the go. Um, that one and that one. Is that right? Yep, I think so. Don't know. Constant. Yep. Just chuck the rest of that in. Let that burn through because I'm going to need a few of them, I think. There we go. Very simple to make. We'll jump over to our table. We'll stick that in. I know I need one of them. So, silver. I picked up iron and not silver. Where's my silver? That one. And I need one. Nope. Need one of them. There we go, and that should be, yep, there we go, a new numismatic generator. What we also need is this augment card. Now, the electron plate, how do we do that? The engineer's hammer, I cannot make right now. How did I make that? That's a good question. Casting, so, did I? What's it done? And get cast. No, that's a good question. How did I make that? Can you just do it in here? No. Now I'm confusing myself. How did I do that? Three of them. That's how I did it. So I need another one.
There we go. So that's just the Constantin plate and a signalium gear. We need a stone gear and some signalium. One, two, three. One. I need one more. Four. There we go. Sorted. And I will need an emerald as well. As you can see, we've got plenty of gems on the go now. Oh, is that electrum not? It's electrum. I do. One, two, three, four. Made the wrong plates up. Nice one. Hopefully they'll be useful for something else. Sheet metal. Well, it's like man, uh, yeah, yeah. Anyway, uh, that. What else do we need? We need another one of those, which is an electrum ingot and redstone. So that's me out of electrum. I'll need to make more of that as well. But there we go. And done. Here's another one. Just fire all that stuff back into there. I need to make more electrum, but. And I will need another upgrade kit. There should be some more in here somewhere. Reinforced one. I mean, I've got some pretty big ones about as well that I've got from quests and things. But what for now? We will just we'll put this there, maybe. Actually, if I put it there and bring it uh, uh, that, nah, um, I, th I don't think it really matters. I'm going to have to move all this about anyway. There we go. Boom. Boom. And I put all my lapis away, so I'm going to get another stack for it. Granted, right now we're not using a ton of power because we've not really got anything brilliant running, but there we go. 800 RF upgrade over, I mean, that's us what, tripled, quadrupled, or more our power output here. So, yeah, I don't think we'll have any problems. I don't actually have anything that I can. I wonder what happens if I put them in that. Can I smelt them back into? No. But yeah, power should not be a problem now. Lava's doing a good job. So what can we do with these? Oh, I can cast them back down. So I can get rid of them again. So, yeah. How many does it use though? Smelting. Ah, I might be able to get one and get back out of that. See what happens. So it's worth a shot. How's this getting on? Ah, it's about halfway through. Um, but yeah, I think that'll do us for this episode because I've talked us through the bulk of what's been going on. I think I'll. Yeah, I think I'll chop it there because you don't want to hear me whittering on about stuff that I've done that's not that exciting um, what I'll probably do is I think I might off camera might go and make up rework this storage room a bit and maybe tidy up the power situation down below um, just because everything's getting in a mess and if I don't sort it soon it'll stay in a mess so Anyway, if you've enjoyed this video, please drop a like below. Keep an eye out for my Bedrock videos. They're out on Tuesday evenings. Um, and if you're really liking the content, please consider subscribing to my channel. It all helps me out very much. And I will see you next time. Goodbye.